Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book haul video. And this is a small comic book haul, nine comics and they're related to the same sort of event, okay? And uh, I've had these comic books on my radar for quite some time and I've been meaning to get my hands on them. And basically I sort of um, decided to go low budget and wasn't able to grab them. And I was trying to low bid some of the auctions that were in play and I was always getting outbid by multiple people. And uh, some of the comics, uh, some of the buys that I was looking at, the sellers were going through eBay shipping program and the shipping was just gonna be insane. And, as you know, if you've been watching some of the other comic book hauls, uh, I've decided not to buy from any sellers that are going through eBay's global shipping po program because uh, it's horrendous. The comics don't arrive safe. They don't, they're not packaged properly. It's extra cost. There's multiple people handling it. The seller sends it to eBay's shipping center in Kentucky or Tennessee, and they just throw everything in a box and they send it to you. So it costs too much, it goes through duties, the comics don't come safely. Uh, so I've decided not to buy from any uh, sellers that go through eBay shipping program. So if you're an eBay seller in the United States, please stop using eBay's global shipping program. You're losing a lot of actually bidders from the international market. I just wanted to put that out there uh, because it took me a while to get my hands on these comics uh, because these comics were from a Canadian seller. So I had to do the searches and uh, finally a Canadian seller was selling these and I put it on my watch list. And this is one thing that happens uh, with eBay. You can put things on your watch list, right? And I've seen this happen more and more when the uh, for buy it now basically specifically so you can take comic books sets of comic books or individual comic books that you want to get your hands on and just put them on your watch list and as the time clicks down to when the auction is going to end what happens with some sellers they give you a discount offer okay now these nine comic books were listed as buy it now for forty dollars thirty nine ninety nine okay and you know, I was thinking about pulling the trigger, not pulling the trigger, pulling the trigger, not pulling the trigger. And it was, I think it came down to the last day that the auction was going to end, or the last few hours that the auction was going to end. And all of a sudden I started getting, and I was watching a few other uh, buy it now auctions from the seller. All of a sudden I started getting um, emails coming in that the buyer has offered you a discount. And instead of $39.99, they offered a discount of to buy it now for $29.99, including shipping. So shipping was included in this, it was free. And just to let you know, the shipping for this was like 14 something, like $15. So basically the seller ended up uh, charging me $15 for the comic books and he paid $15 with tracking with the comic books, right? I wasn't even expecting the comics to be sent to me sent to me through tracking uh, but he ended up doing that right so it was a great deal okay now for that intro I'm not done with the intro by the way let me tell you why I decided to pull the trigger on these ones because I am flying on a low budget I usually not uh, really buying anything unless I'm, I can get it for a ridiculously low price right and this was a fair value it was a good it was a good price um, but the reason I ended up pulling the trigger on this was because of a comment that someone that's been following our comic books, specifically videos that we've been loading on uh, YouTube and BitChute, but YouTube for a number of years, right? He put out the following comment on the previous comic book video that we put out, which was basically talking about, I believe, um, we did some a couple of comic book hauls as well as uh, getting the amazing spider-man uh, 361 gifted to us cgc grant <laughs> gifted to us from a buyer that bought the books on uh, ebay as well as us doing a review of monstrous uh, and black hammer and an in-depth review of monk right and this is the comment that he posted on that video or one of those videos because I cut up the monk one and 
put that up separately on the amazing spider-man 361 right so frf just so you know who this is and if you're watching this frf thank you very much for the reminder for me to get these books this was his comment great to see you so happy chicho for me all comics all comics roads lead to grant morrison therefore when you showed your 3d comic i immediately had to think of superman beyond 3d morrison and doug uh, mankey's two-part final cri crisis tie-in from 2008 and the reason he's mentioning the superman 3d because we did a comic book haul we had the 1952 i believe superman 3d that we got at an amazing price right and then he continues it's very nice of course i'm also com campaigning for you to get morrison and quietly's pax america from 2014. this is probably my favorite comic of the decade okay i always joke that i was literally shivering with excitement when i first read it okay so he, he added a couple more things but that's basically the comment that got me pulling the trigger on this baby and as you can guess this is the pax america comic in there as well as the all nine issues of the malter malta uh sort of the series that came out from 2014 2015 and for some reason i didn't pick these out when they were coming on the shelf but very happy to have these right and my comments my reply to um, frf was the following haha <laughs> definitely a fun time and an amazing gift there's a pun in there if you saw the amazing spider-man 361 uh, cgc unboxing and brother all comic road road roads leading to grant morrison is a great place to be and i agree with frf if i was going to pick one writer that i could i could only read for the next year let's say it would be grant morrison he is without a doubt one of my top i'll put five top five comic book writers okay if i had to choose uh and I'll, I'll i'll continue if i had to choose just one writer morrison would be it and so i'm with you on this one i remember you mentioning pax america before and i tried to get my hands on it uh, on a set but kept on losing out on the ebay auctions i believe it's just one issue with a maxi 12 issue follow-up um follow-up am i correct on this uh, I think it might be time for me to try it again right and I was wrong on the 12 issue it's a nine issue set he mentions FRF followed up with the um, with another comment I'm going to read this comment to you as well okay um, so FRF saying Pax America was a was was part of multi multi multiversity which equals two books plus eight issues equals 10 issues in total i believe uh, it's supposed to be nine issues if it is supposed to be 10 issues if you guys are watching this let me know what the 10th issue is okay and then uh, he continues but i think pa works quite well as a standalone here's a nice nice quote and i believe these quotes are from morrison right quote morrison well an article referring to pax america quote morrison describes pax america as a citizen cane and here quote again i think i just read the best comic comic of the year i think a book that functions as both an an homage and a challenge to watchmen honoring his themes and formalist approach while making a very different argument about storytelling and the nature of heroism it grapples no engages with the spandex classic using it as a starting point from which to do its own thing okay that's our intro to this haul 
And, you know, I got a little write up here of what the multiversity is, is a limited series of interrelated one shots set in the DC multiverse in the New 52, um, a collection of universes seen in publications by DC Comics. The one shots in the series were written by Grant Morrison, each with a different artist. The multiversity began in August 2014 and ran until April 2015. Uh, there's a little bit more right up here. It's a complicated thing. I didn't do too much reading of the wiki page and or any other articles I came across on this because I want this to be, uh, I don't want spoilers given to me, right? Uh, so how about uh, with that intro out of the way, like a 10 minute intro <laughs> out of the way. Let's take a look at this. Now I got this, shipping was free. Ended up picking it up for $30 Canadian, which ends up being like $22, $23 US, including shipping. Now the shipping, it's not coming the best of packaged content. As you can see here, there's nothing protecting the sides of the comic. It's not bubble uh, packaging right and i'm not going to show you the front because all the names and addresses on there but i'm glad the person put fragile handle with care okay and he had <laughs> that's the side he's using whatever he can get his hands on it says private confidential right so it makes it look important i guess um but let's crack this open and i'm you know he graded these things as uh, very fine plus near mint minus which is basically a reading copy for me right uh, and I just wanted these to read because what FRF said, his most favorite comic book of the decade. Now, the decade's almost over. We got like, right now it's December, uh, end of December, mid-December we're in right now. So the decade's almost over. He made this comment a couple of weeks ago. So according to FRF, his favorite comic book of the decade is in here, right? <laughs> That's a huge saying. Because there have been some amazing, amazing, amazing comic books put out this decade. Really, this is this has been the 2010s have been one of the most amazing decades if you're into reading comic books and collecting comic books ever. So modern comics, I mean, it didn't really there's no extra cardboard in this or anything. So he just took the comics. He's got them individually bagged and boarded, uh, the seller, and he said he was going to do that. But there's no extra protection in this, right? Now, I would never send out comic books like this, right? But we got it at a great price. Uh, it was a seller in uh, Alberta, I believe. So let me pull this out. Nice. Or maybe he does have an extra board here. Oh, yeah, he does have an extra board here covering the cover of this thing. So let's crack this open. And he was like, tapes are already falling apart. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Some people in their shipping styles. I mean, look at this thing. It just comes off, right? So he did put a couple of extra boards on either side, right? So let's take a look at this. This is one, two. Did he double? Oh, he doubled them. He doubled double them on both sides right so there should be nine comic books here so one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay let's take a look at this they're all uh, number number one and if you go to the wiki page it sort of lists them as uh, which order we're supposed to read them in i haven't looked into the order yet but when i'm reading these i'm gonna <laughs> look at that list and make sure i'm reading them accordingly right uh, i'm not sure how important it is to do that but uh, i think it might be important to do that uh, so let's take a look at this thing this one is uh the multiver multivis i gotta pronounce this correctly multiversity the multiversity this is morrison reese prado uh rufino comic uh neighborhood watch take a look at this and they look to be, you know, yeah, very near mint minus, near mint. Like these look 
okay to me. I haven't cracked them open yet. So this is one of them. Okay. Here's the other one. Multiversity Society of Superheroes. Dr. Faith and the SOS Thwart. An invasion from nightmarish parallel planet. Oh, this sounds amazing. Look at this thing. <laughs> right? Fantastic. This looks phenomenal. Here, let me bring it over so you can see the cover. Right? And here's a little write-up for it. Great. I like Dr. Faith. I, I really like Dr. Faith. Um, I read some of the older issues. Uh, uh, one of the, I don't know, volume two, probably, or volume one. I think it's volume one, maybe, um, from the 90s. I don't know if volume two or volume one. It was really good. I really liked it. And I liked the character. And I liked the magic aspect of things. And look at this rabbit. I don't, I've never seen this rabbit before. Take a look at this one. Look at this guy. Who's this guy? <laughs> rabbit superhero. The bunny rabbit. Nice. This is the Pax America. Uh, and it's Grant Morrison and Frank uh, Quietly. And Frank Quietly has um, done some amazing work, right? He did We Three and he did, uh, oh God, he did a few other things. A lot of things. So this is the one that FRF was saying his favorite comic book of the decade. So I'm looking forward to reading this. This is going to be my um, holiday reading comic books, right? Fantastic, right? Pax America. Time is the school in which we learn. Time is the fire in which we burn. Oh, Delmore Schwartz. That's a quote from Delmore Schwartz. Look at this right here. That is cool. And as you know, we love, uh, I love making videos and talking about time. So the Multiversity Guidebook. Together for the first time, the Batman of two worlds. <laughs> what is this? The House of Heroes under siege. Reveal the secret maps of the multiverse. This is multiverse is referred to a lot in uh, the DC universe. Here's this one. This is the guidebook. Looking forward. I've seen the, the map that they're showing here, this guy here. And there's another map here. And there's multiple maps of the multiverse. I was never able to figure it out. I, well, to a certain degree, yes and no. But I didn't jump on the multiverse uh, bandwagon right away. And I haven't really yet. It just became too complicated, right? Like Marvel and DC, their universes, the, the, the relaunches and all those parallel universes, multiverses, and one, it just became too much for me, too complicated. But very much looking forward to reading this, especially this one. Favorite comic of the decade, eh? Wow, wow, wow. And just so you know, the favorite, as far as I'm concerned, my favorite comic of the decade for the 2000s would have to be from Valiant Comics, and it's the Book of Death, Fall of Harbinger, and I'll put that in the same category as Fall of the, uh, Book of Death, Fall of Bloodshot. As far as I'm concerned, Fall of Harbinger and Fall of Bloodshot were my two favorite comic books in the 2000s, in the last decade. There, there's a lot. I, I'll say in my top 10 or my top 20 maybe, right? But those are the first two that come to mind. And we did a reading of Book of Death, Fall of Harbinger, um, sort of ASMR chill reading. And the writer for that comic, Fall of Harbinger, right joshua dysart he saw the comic saw the reading that we did the video that we put up and he posted a comment saying wow he loved the reading and he said the way the reading was done because he mentioned that he he'd been doing yoga for a number of years and the way we did the reading and just flipping the pages looking at the panel and the way the story flowed in that reading really instantly kicked him into a meditative meditative state that he tries to reach through yoga right so that was a huge compliment and i sort of went 
fan boy on him. I'm like, oh my God, that's fantastic. Thank you for commenting. I'm glad you liked it and all that jazz, right? So to me, Fall of Harbinger, for the record, it would have to be in Fall of Bloodshot, two of my favorite comic books of the decade. Let's take a look at this one. Multiversity, the just. Superman, Batman is the world's finest bromance over <laughs> Arrow is shocking. I'm not dadding little girl anymore. Oh my god. Connell, don't call me Superboy. Awesome. This looks like tabloid style. Take a look at this one. Fantastic. Right. I hadn't looked at these uh, in depth before. I always do a little research and I say, okay, I want to get these comics. And I try to get my hands on them. And then when I can get my hands on them, and then I start looking into, into them a little bit more in depth, right? Batman, Superman, Bromance. Look at their smiles, eh? <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> is the world's finest bromance over? Is it over? I don't think so. I don't think so. And their mothers are both Martha, right? Look at this one. Nice. Thunder World Adventures. Awesome. Look at this. And the movie for this was not bad. Well, I don't know. I don't think it was based on this, but Shazam. Cool, cool, cool. Look at this one. What's this? What's this? Multiversity. Mastermen. Impossible. You must be cheating. You bet I'm cheating. But you won't know how until it's too late. Overman versus Uncle Sam. <laughs> this looks dark. This looks seriously dark. Look at this. Look at this. This looks crazy dark. Let me give you the full view on this thing. It looks like a dystopian type of world. Gotta read this, gotta read this. Fun, fun, fun. Uncle Sam and what's this Superman's name? Uh, Overman. Oh, it looks like an evil dude. We'll find out. We'll find out. Look at this one. Ultra Comics, only you can save the world. If you value your lives, you must not read this comic. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh, more, this must be, this is Morrison's style. Just creating chaos, right? And humor, dark humor in there with Morrison. Black humor. That looks great. That looks great. Nice, nice. And what is this one? Justice Incarnate. Wow. Reimagination of all the, the Justice League. You got the Flash, Aquaman, but it's not Aquaman. You got Batman, Superman. Who's the one in the back? It's got to be Wonder Woman, but I don't know. Look at this one. Cool. Fun. Look at that. Let me show you so you see. Justice Incarnate. So this is, uh, I'm assuming, based on the different universes uh, in places. And this guy was selling these for six bucks a pop i guess five dollars six dollars most diversity number two. Oh, that is number two so this one's number two this is number one number one uh, number one issue number one so they all seem to be number one except the last one number wise so We'll find out. Uh, I'll have to find out which way the order of reading for these is. So fantastic. 
and this has been sitting on my here I got a couple of days ago so I got to leave a feedback for the seller because he left a feedback uh, when he knew the comics had arrived uh, saying thank you very much for the payment and stuff like this I don't know um, I put the seller on my watch list I, I don't know if I'll be buying from him again because the, the shipping was on the horrendous side <laughs> it's like if this was coming from anywhere other than Canada from Alberta uh, it would have been damaged up to yin yang right like just by fluke it arrived relatively safe there wasn't any holes in it and stuff um, but we'll see if I if he's got some stuff that I want to buy as a reader copy um, you know I have on my watch list I'll keep on watching some of the stuff that he's putting out and uh, if I get some funds and I get an amazing deal and put things on my watch list and he offers that offers a, a discount towards the end uh, maybe we'll pull the trigger okay I thought I'd uh, share that with you guys because I know this is an important read and FRF has been telling me to buy this for the last couple of years where it was on my radar I was getting emails when new new sets were being put on eBay but I wasn't able to win any of them the ones that I bid on right so I'm glad for the reminder uh, thank you FRF for getting this into my hands right very much looking forward to it and I'll read it before the decades over so uh, I can make a decision if it's harbinger a uh, fall of harbinger book of death fall of harbinger and fall of bloodshot if they're going to be my favorite reads and they're both standalone single issue comics that you can read just like Pax America as well right so after reading Pax America we'll make a decision of which one's going to be our favorite comic book of the decade okay uh, I thought you uh, you guys would appreciate this uh, comic call pretty small one but pretty important books uh, tie into many things and Morrison writing them uh, very 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 happy to have this in the collection and have an opportunity to read this uh, event okay aside from that uh, I'll see you guys in the next video bye for now